Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these authentic Asian meals by uh, CP, whatever if you want to say that you can. Your journey through Asian cuisine. This one is the Five Spice Beef Stir Fry. It's grilled beef in an aromatic five spice sauce with udon noodles, broccoli, red peppers, and shiitake mushrooms, which all sounds really good. Looks pretty decent. Um, sometimes they don't look good in that preview menu window. That one looks pretty good. So this one is a 10 ounce or 283 gram meal. Uh, we bought these at Meijer. Um, it was $3.99. Not ridiculously bad, but um, not super cheap either. So it is 310 calories for the, for the whole meal. There's your other information for you. The only thing that's a little high is the sodium, but everything else is pretty decent. So here's the description. Spice sizes. There's that part. Okay. So to make this microwave oven only, I don't see anything else. Keep frozen. So we're going to do not pierce or remove film. We're going to cook on high for three and a half minutes. And it usually blends and starts, uh, it pops a little bit when, you, when you're microwaving it. So three and a half minutes. Peel back film, stir gently, lay the film back over the, mish, the dish and microwave for another minute to a minute and a half. I'll determine how much long I go depending on how hot it is when I stir it. If it looks like it's really still frozen, I'll probably do a minute and a half. If not, I'll do a minute. Let's stand in one or two minutes and carefully remove film and gent stir gently and enjoy. So, caution to move hot. Uh -huh. full time. First full time I've had for a little while, I think. I don't know. Or maybe I've just opened them and I didn't pay attention. Or I just don't remember from yesterday. That happens too. Alright, here is the meal. Quite a bit of broccoli. Um, quite a bit of steak in there too, actually. Um, yeah. Pretty decent sized meal. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. Hey, so here it is on the microwave. It was a little frozen in a couple spots, so I went 120 on my second time. Uh, I think it worked out pretty good. It smells very, it's, it has almost a sweet smell to it. Um, it smells good, but it does have a lot of sweetness to it. Maybe it's that steak, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna let this cool off for just a minute. I won't get it too awfully long because um, noodles and stuff cool off pretty quick. But uh, I'll be back, I'll be right back. So here's some steak, broccoli, peppers, noodles. I think I got a mushroom or two in there. Uh, I think I said steak. So here we go. Steak is a little tough. Not um, not like really, really like chewy tough where you have to really chew at it. But it is, it has a little toughness to it. There's also some spice in there. Um, Kind of feel it in the back of your throat. Oh, I, I see it has a spice meter. Now, this is on the low end though. It's on the, on the, on the low end, uh, between medium and mild. So it shouldn't be too awfully hot, but it does have a little spice to it. So if you don't like spicy food, you don't want to try this because it will burn your, your mouth a little bit. But um, it doesn't bother me any. Broccoli wise, the broccoli seems to be pretty decently cooked. Just a little texture to it. Um, give it a little bit of crunch, but not uh, overly crunchy. Um, overall, it's pretty good. The noodles kind of remind you of really thick spaghetti noodles. The texture of the noodles is a little um, firmer than like a spaghetti noodle is, but, um, but it's really good. The peppers are cooked good. They still, again, have a little texture to them. They're not hard crunchy. They're just like, got a little crunch to them. I think overall it's a pretty decent meal. The The flavors, I really just taste the sauce and the peppers. That's what I primarily taste. When you eat a piece of broccoli, of course, you taste the broccoli. But then again, and even when you eat just the broccoli, it's covered up kind of by that sauce. So overall, you're getting mostly the sauce and it's mostly just a peppery kind of flavor. I was getting that smell of like something sweet. I think that was in the steak and how it was cooked and what it was cooked in, like seared and whatever. Um, yeah, overall it's okay. The the flavorings, I wish the flavorings were a little bit better balanced where you get a little bit more difference of flavor. Kind of right now, it's, everything kind of tastes the same no matter what you eat. Um, so I wish the flavors were a little more, um, I wish there was a little more var variety of flavors. Let me say it that way. Um, I'm gonna give it a three out of five, but I do think it's good. I like that little tingle in the back of your throat with it though. Um, I like that. If you don't, then don't eat it. 
But uh, overall, the flavor is pretty decent. Textures are all really good. Um, definitely worth trying out if you want to try it out, but you're not missing anything if you don't try it out. So three out of five, pretty safe number. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.